Okay, so when it comes to content rhythm, your schedule and how it applies to building out your framework, um, is there a connection to that? So for example, would someone, should someone do like Monday, I'm gonna do a piece of content on framework topic A. And Tuesday, I'm gonna do framework topic B. Wednesday, framework topic C. Or if someone does, does less frequent content, oh, week one is gonna be framework topic A, week two, framework topic B, week three, framework topic C. Now, uh, sh you know, the, if you learn content marketing and content planning from others uh, without the title authentic in front of it, <laughs> no, um, they might literally teach that kind of thing where it's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta have a content calendar where, you know, January, you're doing this, February, you're doing that, Monday, you're doing that, Wednesday, you're doing that. And I, I think that that is good probably for corporations content teams where they have a you know a mandate from above to say you must create branding on these three areas and so therefore the teams are busy bees like, okay branding area one january may february but we're not that's why i put the word authentic in front of my content course um because and in, in front of my framework course i should have put create your authentic framework um because the, the reality for us solopreneurs um, I, I, of course, believe very much in, in, in structure and schedule and rhythm, but I always say that you, cat you calendar your actions, but when you get to the actual action, so for example, you calendar in Tuesday is 10 a.m. or whenever it's good for you to create content. Tuesday is 10 a.m., for example, uh, it says create content. So you show up because you want to be disciplined, joyfully, diligent, and, and consistent. You show up. But then if you show up and you're inspired by an idea just on, on the walk you just had or the other, you know, last night in the shower or whatever, you, you have this idea, my God, oh, I really want to make something on, you should do it as long as you are. So, so let me say this again. When it comes to schedule and rhythm, I believe that is important for the type of action you're taking. But when it comes to the content of that action, as long as you're staying within the category of that action, you should be, you should go with your flow. This is how I combine intuition and structure, how I combine flow and discipline. Both are, I think, needed for an, an authentically thriving business. If you just go with flow, you, you'll have authenticity, but it probably won't thrive. If you have schedule and structure and rhythm, it might thrive, but you won't feel so joyful and authentic. So we combine the two. So if we're going to create content on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. or Wednesday at you know midnight, whatever is good for you, you show up and you make the content that inspires you in that moment because you'll be much more joyful, number one. But number two, you'll be just much more on fire. Uh, and if you're not inspired in that moment, this is where this is why I always recommend we have a list of content ideas that we've captured over time. Like when I'm, when I'm on my dog walk, if I have a content idea, boop, oh, I should write a blog post about that or make a video about that at some point. I write it down in my content ideas, you know, folder in my notes, and I, I, I get content ideas all the time, just, you know, whatever. Am I working on some other project? Content idea. Okay, quickly pause for five, you know, 20 seconds and write that down in my project. And so then when I come, when it comes Tuesday at 10 a.m. to create my content, if, if I don't have an idea already, that I'm inspired by right now, then I go into my content ideas folder and I scroll through and see what inspires me then, what inspires me from all those ideas, what inspires me right now. So I, so back to the original question, well, George, if you're always just doing stuff by inspiration in terms of content creation, then doesn't your framework get lopsided over time? It's like super expired by a topic B and C, but I forgot to create content on topic A. Yes, that's a that's a that is a, a, sometimes that happens. Um, so, for example, I I don't have a lot of I have a, my framework, right? The eight practices of authentic business. I have a whole lot of content on joyful productivity and on authentic content and uh, some con some stuff on joint gentle launches. I have relatively little content on market research. I have relatively little content on uh, mastering your craft relatively little and as i as and the occasional you know when i 
organize, when I organize my content, when I track my content stats after the fact, I do it once a week, you can do it once a month or even once a quarter, but just looking back at the content you've done and how well things have done and putting it into a spreadsheet so you can see, oh, this piece of content tracks with framework topic A, this piece of content tracks with framework topic C, this piece of content tracks with framework topic B or whatever, you track your content well, occasionally, whatever it's once a week, once a month, once a quarter, I don't care. So when you do that tracking, you'll naturally say to yourself, oh, wow, content framework, uh, framework, con framework topic A has very little stuff. Uh, so let me just make a note to myself and maybe I even wanna take 15 minutes right now and brainstorm, what could I write about in content framework A? Let me go ahead and put that in, you know? So I don't, uh, so I, I just think over time, go with your inspiration, and also go with what's popular uh, for your audience in terms of what you create that's popular because inspiration and popularity are, um, are gonna what makes your business thrive over time. Uh, just because you have content topics, you know, framework topics that are not being covered doesn't mean it has to be covered. It could be something that you sell a product on, a, a, a course about. Like for example, I have a whole market research course Right, because I'm like, I don't know how much content I want to create that's free about market research. I really feel like I should charge for that. I mean, that's to me. I think it's it's like something where people need to pay for it and really study it and really, you know, it's like a step one, two, three kind of thing. That's not really. It doesn't feel inspired for free content for me. So, um, so this is why. And, and in terms of my mastery, let, let me give you another example. My my mastery topic. I'm like, I don't really want to be known at this time in my business for someone who creates content about mastery. I still wanna be known for someone who creates content about um, you know, marketing and about launches. That's, that's, where I, that's how I wanna be seen. So I'm, I'm creating content, free content more heavily on these areas. The mastery stuff, once someone, remember I talked about doorways, once someone comes into my business through the popular topics of marketing and launches or whatever, okay? Then they'll see all the other offerings I have, and that's, they're much more likely going to sign up for my other things. So I let it, I let it happen that way. Um, so anyway, I hope this helps. Just know that go by inspiration and go by popularity. And when I say popularity, I don't mean sell your soul. What I mean is for the sake of your business and for the sake of your own encouragement, it is a good idea to be creating where people are engaging, creating on the stuff that people are engaging with as well as sometimes creating stuff by inspiration as the test to see if people get it. And I, I do that all the time. I'm always dancing between the two, inspiration, popularity, inspiration, popularity. I just keep dancing between the two. So I hope this helps. And over time, you'll, you'll, your framework will be lopsided in some certain ways in terms of free content. Don't worry. You can always create products of paid stuff on the other areas that your true fans will be happily buying as well. So hope that helps.